you should be good to go. Sounds good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the May Public Works Committee meeting. Can I please have our clerk, Kathy Persons, call the roll? Yes, uh, Chairperson McGraw is here. Yes. Supervisor Syed. Good morning, everyone. Matt Yetto. Matt. I know Matt is here. Um, is Matt Alam? Brian Backus? Here. Stan Faminski? Present. Paul Briggs? Morning. Elena Finnan? Josh Hawley? Here. Michelle Martinelli? Diane Percy, Rosemary Jackwith, Bill McPartland, John Delarada, Laura Robertson. Hey, Kathy. Thank you. Janet Wynn, Ray Smith. Present. Pete Rakvitka. He's present as well, doesn't have a microphone. Okay, thanks. Uh, and Seth Goldstein is here. Did I miss anyone? Okay. Thank you, Chairperson. We're all set. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Matt Yetto, are you are you here with us? Okay. How about Paul Briggs? We start with attorney's items. We want to approve the minutes first. Oh, yes. Excuse me. I'll make, um, a, motion, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the March uh, 2021 meeting. I will second that motion. I guess Thank that's April, April meeting. The April meeting. Yeah. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. And Paul Briggs is so brilliant at, at buying himself some time. Matt Yetto, are you on? <laughs> Yeah, I was having trouble with the link. I apologize. That's okay. So, um, Paul, we'll wait on attorney's items. And, and Matt, do you have anything to start? Uh, just the uh, admin engineering. Um, just an update on COVID. Uh, we have been working with our meter installer um, on the on the crew to come up with a, some, some uh, tweaks to our, our entry policy for entering homes. We've, we've made some minor changes and we look like we're on track sometime next week to start entering homes to service water meters again. Uh, item B, because there's a delay in getting a new junior engineer due to um, timing issues, um, Josh and I were wondering about a summer intern to help in the office with some of the um, seasonal things that we have to do in the office. We've had as many as two in the, in the past, but we're just looking for one right now to help. I support that. I understand where it is. I mean, most of these items, what the real concern has been um, their budgetary impact, but obviously you have the funds to be able to pay for this because you haven't filled the other position yet. So, right. and I do agree that um, in the past we've had one or two, I thought one year we had three. Um, yeah. We, they've always been very successful and um, it's a good opportunity for for folks, young people who are going into the fields to see firsthand and we really benefit from from them being in the office. So I support that wholeheartedly. All right, thank you. Attorney uh, items, Paul. You're on mute. Whitmire Drive, one of the residents has reached out to me and I provided more information concerning that um, extension. We still haven't had a decision from the Whitmire Drive people as to that, so that's pending. Paul, Pierce Road. So, Paul I'm going to say the same thing I say every month. What's the timeline on this? Because it's been on the agenda for years. Well, we don't need it on the agenda anymore. 
it's up to the Whitmire people to come forward. And when they do, I'll put it back on the agenda. That would be great. Okay. Yeah. I just don't want to, you know, this is a big decision for the folks on that street. If they want it, you know, we will obviously do our normal due diligence around the issue, but if they don't want it, then it doesn't make sense to put it on there out there in the public week, you know, month after month. Yeah. They have some support and some not support. So it's a close call. So they're trying to work that out. Sure. And maybe, they, and maybe they won't. And maybe they won't is under, right. I understand. But we'll Pierce, support them whatever they decide. Okay. Pierce Road, we had the public hearing. So we're going to need a resolution to approve that extension. Great. City Water, we still haven't, the last time we spoke to the folks at the City Corporation Council's office was going to provide us with a proposed contract. We're still waiting for that. Um, Ingersoll home, Josh, can you give us an update on that? Yeah, actually, I just got an update this morning. Um, so they're still waiting for that, um, that structure that they had to make some modifications to, to be, uh, delivered from the manufacturer. So it's about two to three weeks still, um, until they'll receive it that on site and then they'll be installing it shortly after they receive it on site. So it's in progress. They're just experiencing the normal COVID delays, um, from the, the manufacturer of the, of the structure. Thank you. Roughing the road, I um, new one for me. I take it we need a fence easement. What type of utilities? What type of utility is, are they crossing? I'm not sure about the Ruffner, Josh. That's a one? drainage easement, I believe, in Ruffner. I'm yeah. checking right now. That's so what's on. And and what's their name? Yeah. Because sometimes we like to abstain, or like if it's somebody that. Like, we don't even know who it is, but then it looks like we're doing something for John Held. Okay. John Held? Yeah. John and Mary? Okay. Hey, Paul, um, I, I I got the agenda out early this this week, but it ended up biting me a little bit because a couple things came in after sure. I sent the agenda out. Two, there were two more um, easement agreements that came in. I'd rather get those taken care of this month instead of waiting. Uh, one's for 640 Maple Lane. That's for a fence in a sewer easement. Uh, looking at the plans, it looks as if they already have a, a shed partially in our easement as well. I don't know if we want to modify the agreement so that it would be for the shed and the fence. Um, yeah. I don't have an issue with the way it's being proposed. We would still have access, but it, just to make sure everything's in line, I think we should do, if they don't have one already, um, modify it so that it includes a shed. Okay. And who's, yep. and who's that? I don't have the paperwork. Josh, Josh, we have the paperwork for that. Yeah, I do. Give me one second. I can pull it up. That's okay. No Just problem. tell me at some point. Cause okay. I, yeah. okay, Matt. The next one uh, is an, is 787 Downing Street. Mm -hmm. I believe this is an existing fence that they want to replace. And I, there isn't currently an easement agreement there. And I think we should um, make that part of the, uh, the, the permit for the renew, uh, replacement of the fence so that we're in line with our other um, easement um, situations. That's a drainage easement. And I don't have the name Josh would have that, but we can provide that. So if Josh is the norm, will send me all the information and I'll meet with the residents and have yep. those care of. Of course. Right, the next item, Paul, is uh, we briefly spoke about it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, we have sewer lining that we want to do in town. Um, we, we bonded money for it um, a year or so ago. Um, there is a current contract with um, Errol um, Construction. They have with Onondaga County um, an ongoing contract. They went out to bid for it. They have prices and Onondaga County put a a clause in their contract that would allow other municipalities to piggyback on their contract. Uh, we would take advantage of one, we would save a ton in engineering costs. And two, it was such a large contract, the prices were, were very competitive. Um, we're very familiar with this particular company because um, more, than, more than 10 years ago, the owner came through our office as an intern. Uh, very small world. Yeah, we, um, so, 
I'm confident that they would do good work and it would be a, a good deal if we could make this happen. They just extended their contract for another year. That was the one thing we were weren't we weren't sure about, but it was just extended. And I reviewed that part that you showed me, Matt, and I'm good with that. Okay, good. Uh, the next item is related to that project in the country club area where we want to do this work. The sewer lines are in the backyards and there's very little access uh, and, the, and the easement isn't as clear as, as some of our other easements because it's it's dates back to 1927. Um, so, uh, but we did meet with the contractor out there and they're confident that they would have very little need to enter the property with equipment maybe a couple guys here or there. Um, so I don't know what we would have to do to make that happen. Just, just something legally as far as the easement. So, so Matt, Josh and I took a ride out there the other day to review the area. And it's, it's going to be, um, all you have to do is drive down Country Club Drive and you'll see how close the houses are and there's a line that runs between right now everybody's the middle of everybody's or sort of the backside of the each of the backyard. So there are some homes that have an, a lot of those driveways have garages behind them, which would make it impossible for us to access the backyards. So there's some that don't, and we'll we'll have to approach those residents and see if we can get permission for a temporary easement to have the company access the, the line through their through their yard. Um, I'm hopefully we hopeful we can do that, and I think there's enough of them that we can find and find a few residents that would be willing to allow us to do that work. So that's a a project. What's our timing on that, Matt? I was hoping to try to bring this to the committee next month. Okay. Uh, okay. Another item that missed the agenda because of the timing uh, was uh, a tentative resolution for the, the call for the public hearing for the, the, the development that's being pr uh, proposed for the old Celts farm property. Um, it's going to require district extensions for the water and sewer and um, it's a long process so we would just like to start with the calling for the public hearing and um, Laura and I and Josh met yesterday and it sounds like they should have something as far as uh, plans into the town by by the meeting Lori, is that correct you're muted sorry <laughs> um sorry what was the question uh Kelp's the farm. Uh, Are we water and sewer reports for the water oh and um yeah I brought up the agenda because I was hoping that you would add that up in um, right now, we don't have any of the submittals, um, so it, like Matt and Josh and I were talking about this, it's quite possible that we'd have them by the end of the month and we call for a public hearing, so yes. like if Matt talks about it in his agenda that we have submittals at the end of the month, it's still a whole other month before we actually have the public hearing, okay. but we don't have any of the submittals yet. We know they're coming. All right, just keep me posted as to whether or not we're have, we will have them, but obviously calling for the public hearing, let's just do that and... That's my that's my recommendation. Sounds good. I agree. Okay. Anything uh, else? The, one additional okay. item too. Um, there is there are plans for the installation of a gazebo uh, adjacent to the water plant property. It's been an ongoing uh, process. I think it started three or four I'm years sorry. ago. I'm sorry, Matt. The, the this gazebo, this second gazebo, Laura. While we still have you. Um. It, there's also plans for a gazebo in Kelts Farms. Does that impact water and sewer or anything that we're going to do at all right now? That's what I thought Matt was talking about. I don't I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt, we don't have that location yet, but I think, right, so the the new sewer line is going to run under the bike path, right, on Kelts Farm? Or really, not under the bike Along path. Along the side of it. The shoulder of the bike path, right? Yeah. So we would have to make sure that we anything we cite is outside the bike path and sewer easement. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, 
but uh, the one I was talking about was yeah, um, yeah and adjacent to the water plant property and the bike trail. Um, a, a resident was proposing to donate a, uh, a pavilion and um, install it and and remove some trees for a view of the river. Um, we, we've gone back and forth with some of the details of it. I, um, the latest I have shows they were going to cut some of the trees down. They saved some of the ones that we asked them to save because of protection from the uh, the ice that comes up in in the in the over in the winter when we have ice jams, the trees provide pr protection to the wellheads, um, and some additional screening so, with some vegetation to keep people from keep people encouraging them to walk from that portion of the property onto the active part of the the water plant. It is water plant property where they want to put the the gazebo. Yeah, I I'm not sure so, why we agreed to this to put this on here, but it's been going on forever. I mean, it's been going on for four or five years, so. Where are so, we now? Well, my question is, who's going to maintain it? And is there any liability or legally? Because it's, it is water district okay. property. So. so my understanding of this, or my memory of this, let me say, is that this was something that was developed with the previous town attorney. So Paul Briggs, do you have the paperwork on all of this? Can you review it one more time through the lens of this is actually on water department property? I mean, obviously, it's it's a wonderful idea. Um, you know, I have two benches. I, I understand the value of all of these things, both for the community and for the folks who want to invest in our community by putting these things out there for for the town. But I, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here, Paul. So I, I haven't seen any paperwork on this. I'll have to look through the files and see what there is. Um, this is I've never heard of this before. It was, yeah, it was yeah. your predecessor. Okay, so I'll her, look at She has an attorney that she has been using because she, she sunk a substantial amount of money into the engineering and review of this project. Yeah. <laughs> she is, so typically Donald Z like reach, was reaching out. Um, okay. I, I don't have all of it, but I can forward most of what I have. That would be great public. because I'm telling you, I what I know about this project was always in the terms of what we discussed at town board or executive or, or things like that um and maybe from your meetings laura so then a few months ago when it, i became aware of the fact that this was actually on water plant property i was as my dog was pretty su surprised i was pretty surprised to learn that piece of it i don't believe i think that would have always caught my attention so if we can just get everything over to briggs and i do know that this resident has put a substantial amount of money, of time, of effort. You know, I, I understand what this is. So we're not looking to stop it. We just want to make sure that we're all just on the same page. Because they've become uh, a little bit different than uh, if it being a water property, than it just being in a, in a park. And I also want to make sure that Ray's on board with whatever they're proposing as well, so that he doesn't get left with maintenance that he wasn't didn't approve or didn't agree to. So just from my memory, and I, you know, this is Laura's memory, <laughs> but I believe the, the impact discussion be the right now because it's a resident issue. So let's just okay. you let's see what you can find on your computer, and then we'll get it to Paul, and Paul can work with Matt, and we can get it all figured out. But Brett, Matt also raises a good point: who's going to take care of that, and is that you know is very prepared to do that or however we're going to get that taken care of. So, okay. Anything else, Matt? That's all, that's all on the legal, the attorney okay. items. So, Great. Uh, water and sewer maintenance. We're still looking to fill two open positions in the water and sewer crew. Uh, trying to schedule a, uh, interviews for next week. Hopefully we have four candidates so far. Um, if another one or a few more come in prior to the meeting, we'll we'll try to do interviews with them as well. Um, the seasonal temporary worker was on the agenda last month, but we did get the paperwork together in time, so it's the same person that we talked about. It's our she would be painting fire hydrants for us. She worked with us last year and was very productive, and we'd like to have her back. Um, just informational. Josh has finished the 
uh, annual award quality report, and it's it's now posted on our town website, and it was submitted to the state uh, DOH as, as required. Uh, what else? Uh, wastewater treatment plant um, update with ESG. Uh, there is a meeting scheduled sometime in the, uh, the week of May 17th. The, the details aren't aren't set yet to discuss our status, our current status, and our and our future plans for the acceptance of high strength waste at the plant. Um, most of the stakeholders will be there uh, to discuss it. I think it would, it's a good time for to have a meeting to sort of restart the effort to get everything going. Uh, and, and can we just double check Briggs or somebody? I know at some point somebody had asked in a, a meeting, I, I can't remember where, what the status was with ESG. And we said we had a signed letter or a contract with them. We do not. So if we can, if Paul Briggs or somebody, we can move forward with that. Okay. Great. Thanks, Matt. Okay. Um, an update with the uh, status uh, with our ex approval from DEC. Uh, ha had a productive meeting last Thursday uh, with um, members from DEC central office and the regional office, Martin Lee Judas and Josh and myself. And we think we're moving in the right direction. There was an email sent that was re as re a result of that meeting, which I forwarded this morning uh, to some of the committee members. Um, I think they're asking for reasonable information that we can provide to them as far as the, the details on the type of waste that we're looking to re receive. And I think that's a positive step in the whole process. So I think that I can work with the um, B&L and ESG to, to give them exactly what they're looking for and help move forward on this. Sledge disposal options. Uh, we are going to sign a contract with the colony just to use as a, as a backup landfill. Um, they're more expensive than Albany, so there's really no rush. It's other, just in case something were to happen at Albany and they wouldn't accept any waste, we have a place for it. But with our current drying that we're doing, we're only hauling dried sludge once a month, which is compared to you know four times a week when the dryer isn't running. So I think that saves a, a, um, a large amount of money right there. Uh, I added uh, a C to this list. Um, there was a, a civil service test for operators of water and treatment plants. Um, we assumed that it would take months for, as it has been in the past, to get results from the test, but we heard uh, just yesterday, the test was last Saturday, and the, the people who took the test are already getting their results. So we're going to meet, uh, talk to civil service and see if there is a, a list that will be generated for a sewer plant operator and hopefully we can pick somebody off that list if not then we'll have to expand our search and um, go the go the, the longer route but that's a tentative depending on what the list shows uh, the water treatment plant uh, our mini bid uh, for a Jeep for the use for the operators came in very competitive we have um, a vehicle waiting. It was waiting for the bonded money to become available. They had it for us, and uh, we're just looking to, to approve that mini bid result, um, accept the, the bid results so we can order the, the, the uh, Jeep. Replaces a full size pickup truck. So it's, and I, I think the truck's over 10 years old that it's replacing. Uh, with the uh, well redevelopment contract went out the bid. We have bid results and we made a recommendation last month, but the money wasn't quite available yet. So uh, we have up until the end of the month to approve the um, the bid. So timing will work out. If we get the board approval for the bid, we can award the contract and move forward. Uh, three of the well houses that we have at the, at the water plant, um, the roofs are completely shot. We tried to extend them as long as we could, but it's getting to the point there that there's a chance that we could damage the equipment that's housed in those structures if we don't do any roof work on them now. We have three quotes, and the cheapest one that we have was for $15,600. Uh, 
Um, I have two options to fund that. I can look in, in other lines within the water district budget and find that. Or uh, we do have the $1.39 million bonded for upgrades at that plant, which will be performed later this year, hopefully. Um, so if we didn't do that work now, it would be rolled into that project anyway. So I, I would only need, um, I think I need board approval for that dollar amount. But we did get the three quotes. Okay, well, if you have to move forward with it, just work it out with Ismet how it's best to fund it. Yeah, I it can. Sounds I, like, I it can, sounds like one way or another you have the money. So I do, yeah. And it's, it's, it's just, you know, we're trying to hold as much as we can in that bonded account to try to um, do as much as we can as far as the upgrades to the plant. If I have to, I'll use it. But uh, if I can find it elsewhere in the operating budget, I'd rather do that. But it, it's 15000 compared to $1.3 million. It's really a small portion of that. So... Okay. Um, yeah, and um, and, and Matt and I we had talked about it. So as long as um, how the board resolution was written, the debt covenants, if it's more generic, then we can use the money. So I just need to look at that. All right, great. Thank you, Ismet. Yeah, Thank well. you. So, and and Matt, I think for uh, you know uh, add to your very long list of projects, you know what Laura is doing right now and coming up with a strategic plan for her department. I I would like to ask that you take on a similar task in that. Um, you know, an evaluation of the assets and what's going to need, you know, repair and r right now, long-term replacement. I know you've already started to do things like that. You know, you've looked at the water towers and other things, but um, if we're able to have a handle on what, you know, the expected life of all these things are and what's going to need upgrades and improvements this year, next year, five years out, um, we're better prepared to be able to fund them, right? Absolutely. Without, and without uh, a conversation about roofs that are about to fall in. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And I, I think um, the, the plant operator that's recently taken over has, has a much more aggressive um, approach. And I think that kind of inf information will be um, rolled into the, 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 the more annual plan and more in, even longer term plan for the, for the, um, the water plant, sewer plant, same, same thing as well. Um, and speaking of long-term plans for, for our facilities, um, the next item I mentioned it just before, we're undergoing a major upgrade at the water plant. So we had paid um, MJ Engineering a few years back to do a, an analysis of our plant. Um, and this is now the next step where we, Josh and I just put out an RFP uh, this week for major overhaul of the controls, ke uh, chemical feeds, um, electrical gear at the water plant and both remote pumping stations. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a complete evaluation and replacement of, of, of uh, a, lot of this, a lot of the equipment dates to the 1960s. So it, it, it's far outlived its, its useful life. So that will be um, a major undertaking. Um, I got a little ahead of myself. I put it on the agenda as awarding the contract to the engineer, but um, the RFP won't be received, or the proposals won't be received until the beginning of next month. So that will be on the agenda for next month. Uh, utility billing, just the uh, first quarter corporate utility warrant um, has been Produced by Chris and Kathy has checked it and uh, it's ready for town board approval. And the uh, private hydrant maintenance agreement um, that we're doing this year now, um, we're doing annually instead of one time and, and never really following up on the contracts. So we're doing that annually now. And we worked with um, Chris and um, the receiver of taxes to come up with a way to bill this without making too much extra work for, for either, any department. So we're just going to uh, bill uh, with the first quarter water billing for the commercial or the um, corporate accounts. So it would just be 30 additional accounts that would be set up in the water billing software. So it shouldn't cause any issue with or any undue burden to any, any other department. So. 
Uh, let's see, finance board action. Basically, most of these are carried on from above, except for the uh, Spectrum franchise agreement. Paul, any update? No. Okay. And um, other departments, the transfer station, um, we hope to do some more cosmetic work around there uh, now that most of the grading work has been completed. I want to thank Ray for all his work um, in regrading that parking lot. I think it really opened up the park and everything looks great over there. It looks excellent. It really does. It, it really opens it up. And it, it does help to um, focus some attention on the transfer station as well. So I think our next step is to fix the, uh, clean up the, the site a little bit more, do some fence repair, install some new fencing. Um, there's been talk of pavement as well. Uh, once that area is paved, we can do some more landscaping and and, uh, and utilize the, the, the improved visibility to try to inc increase um, the number of residents that utilize that service. That's uh, the point. Is now that people can actually see what's over there. To yep, promote. it was hidden. So, Ray, when do you think the paving over there is going to take place? I'm hoping to have that uh, prepped and paved sometime in May, Denise, so that we can utilize the uh, better parking for the splash pad yeah. and the tennis court. So um, I think that's going to try to be our first order of business even before we pave roads. So uh, that's why I brought up yesterday that make sure yeah. we're on track. So that's going to be one of my uh, first projects as far as paving. Thank you very much. And uh uh, very thoughtful of you because I know one of the things that had um, risen up for you is improving the handicapped parking over there. Um, so thanks for yeah. taking on this project. I always had concerns when I pull in and out of there and the kids come running around the I back know. of the cars. I, I just I chew you on You and I have talked about it for years. I know this has always been very top of mind for you. So thank you for finding the time to fit this into, you know, while we were doing the other upgrades over there to make sure that everything over there is is the way we're more comfortable with. So thank you, Ray. Yep. And when me and Matt walked through part of the transfer station in that area, uh, you know, collaboratively, we had some good ideas and I think it'll, it'll make it more appealing to everybody. Great. That's fantastic. I know when you guys get together, it always turns out great for the town. So, um, so Matt, then I think Lori and I said that splash pad would be turned on like the first week in June. Is that work yep. for you? Yes. Well, I, I, well, Charlie would have to do his his um, opening of the of the splash pad. I think most of the the plumbing has been re reconnected after the winter. I think he just has to, you know, flush it out and do some cleaning. Okay. So. Uh, well, you can exit him because I think what we said was, um, I think it's in the book for like the first Saturday in June. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, that nice new parking lot that Ray graded for, for the for the park, will also be a great place to do our recycling event, um, recycling and shredding event. It, it we we're not going to do one this spring just because of the timing and and the weather was horrible. But October second is the tentative date for um, the shred event that we're going to have down there. We will have um, the TV recycling and like we have in the past here at Town Hall, and then also do the, the, um, the free shredding. Um, and I would also like to use it as an opportunity to promote the transfer station, possibly to sell um, annual permits there and to yes. just give people yes. uh, some, some, some exposure to what we mm -hmm. offer. I don't think people really fully understand what's, what's available to, to them. I, I don't think they do, and I think they are interested, and I get a lot of e I've been getting a lot of emails because people are either moving, selling, thinking, cleaning out, been in, trapped in their house for a year and want to get rid of all the stuff. Um, so I've been, a lot of people have asked if, if we offer something because they just don't even really know and they are interested. So um, that would be great, Matt. Okay. Uh, that's all I have. Oh, I have. Um... Oh, I had one other thing. So mm -hmm. while we have Ray. So Ray, when can you add? Can you have Matt moving forward on Matt on this agenda? 
um, when you give the bill for whatever um, Matt has had to open up a road or whatever, and then you've had to repave it, you know, that thing that I love so much, that's got to come out of here because it's, it's actually a bill that this committee has to pay. So can you put, so Matt will start putting that on this agenda and you can just give him the amounts? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I actually get the amounts from Chris. Oh, great. So it doesn't need to go a big whole circle. Matt will just put this will be a this a committee agenda thing. Yeah, I can do that. So that Isbic can keep better track of it. Chris identifies uh, how many town road cuts. Um, yep. The only thing different, I, when we do reconstruction or paving, I don't charge Matt for any repairs or anything because it's part of the process. It's part of the project. No, 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 Matt. I, Ray, everybody, this was... I started this, so I know exactly what this is. Yep. I just, it's easier for Ismet because it actually is something that you're requesting gets paid out of here. So it's not right. really an item for your committee because you're not actually taking any action. You're not paying something. Right. Yeah, Chris yeah. can generate that for Matt. She she does for us. Excellent. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good. And uh, one other item too, this, the stormwater um, MS4 annual report. Uh, Josh has completed that, and uh, it's uh, it's available for review on the town website. It will be by the end of today, Matt. So I'm just doing okay. some last minute touches, so it's it's close, so, but it will be available okay. by the end of today. Okay, so that is always something that we brought. So then, um, if you can get it up on the website, and then um, let's put out a blurb, and um, mm -hmm. Seth can send out an email about it. Great. I know yeah, that's so that, hard. Promoting it as part of the covenant we have with the, you know, and responsibility we have with the state. So. Right. Yeah. This is the public review period for it for a couple of weeks, and then we finalize and it's due by the first of June. Great. Yeah. yeah we used to be able to utilize uh, NISCA Day, but unfortunately, I know. I know. There. I'm yeah. Sad at that table. I know. All right. Anything else? No, well, that's all I have. Anyone yeah, I have. Me? I have one quick thing. Um, Matt, can we touch base? Later today, I have some information from the civil services in okay. regards to the list for the junior civil engineer. So let's touch base today. Thank you. So Ismet, I mean, what he said about people getting test scores within days like that is very interesting as it relates to a number of other civil service tests people have taken. So you want to try to follow up? I mean, that's really something else. I did follow. I, actually, I did ask them about the other tests, and they said, well, you know, some of them are state tests. So they are taking longer, whatever is in within their purview, they're happening like this, but the state is uh, some Understood. of that. Understood, okay, I got yeah. excited. Yeah. All right, seeing no other, here, no other business, I adjourn the May meeting of the Public Works Committee. Do I have a second for that motion? Second. I second. Thank you. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carries. Thank you all very much. We look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you. Bye.